And pediatric hospitals here in Colorado say the current surge in RSV cases is like nothing they have seen before. 90s reporter Darius Johnson joins us live from outside the Colorado Department of Public Health where he is braving the cold for us this morning. And Darius, health leaders say the time of the surge is different than in years past. Yeah, hospitals like Children's Hospital of Colorado have told us that, you know, this is much earlier in the season than they normally see a lot of these RSV cases. Now, we asked CDPHG just last week about the timing of this current wave of RSV that Colorado is seeing right now. And health officials, they are also trying to work to really understand the timing of all of this, especially when it comes to non-COVID viruses. But they do say it is clear that viruses like RSV and flu and others, they were all disrupted by the course of the pandemic. Now, just last week, CDPHE says that our state has seen a rapid rate of RSV transmission since the beginning of October and Children's Hospital Colorado says this is a first for them when it comes to RSV. Their inpatient and ICU has been functioning at max capacity for weeks and the number of patients seeking emergency services is now up to 30% compared to their busiest days and previous respiratory seasons. Now, we spoke to a parent who had a firsthand experience after both her children got sick with RSV. Take a listen. I can remember my daughter being in the hospital. She was on oxygen and she would fall asleep and dip like with the oxygen in her nose. They'd have to crank her up just to like keep her breathing so she could sleep. That's terrifying that your kid is currently hooked up to oxygen and still tanking a little bit. Right now, Colorado is one of 13 states in the country that's actually tracking RSV data. Our data that we currently have ends at the week of November 5th, and at that point, there were 167 kids hospitalized. Ten of those were adults, and since the start of October, Colorado has seen a total of 554 hospitalizations, and there's no signs of it slowing down anytime soon. Jordan and Gary. Yeah, it's really scary. I mean, uh, my son, when he was very little, had RSV, and, and like that lady said, it can change overnight. It's really troubling for parents. Yeah, yeah, very scary. Darius, thank you. I so think that's the one thing you continuously hear from a lot of these parents is, you know, one night it's like this, and the next morning it's completely different. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's a bad thing. All right, thank you.